All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. Got a 1969 C10 Chevrolet sitting here. 396 under the hood. Looks like no power brakes on this one. We do have power steering sitting right there tugged in. I've got the nice brand trout, aluminum radiator. Should be a pretty good test drive. We're gonna be taking it down the road, pointing at anything I can find. That way you know what you're getting before you get here. Looks like it's got like a, what's that, an early 90s interior. That's one of my first trucks, that's how I know that. <laughs> the bed's in pretty good shape. We're gonna be taking it down the road. Anything that I find that is wrong with this, you'll know about it because, you know, we get vehicles in here all the time, but all we do is buy them, clean them, and sell them. We don't start fixing all the little knickknacks, and we can keep the price down and get twice the amount of vehicles doing it this way. So check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping, detailed pictures, and every Monday I'll get about 10 new cars. We're running through close to 60 a month here. With that being said, we do buy 15 a week. All right, guys, I just need you to sit back and relax because it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? Got the Grant steering wheel here. They've tended the lower half and the top half of the windshield on this one. You've got a custom plate right here in the middle. You also got the ashtray, which is clean, thanks to Evan back there. Console. Like I said, this is early 90s interior. Gas tank right behind us. New carpet. That looks pretty clean. Coming across the dash, it's showing 89,000 miles, but that's hard to stand behind in a 69 model. Um, let's go ahead and start her up. Got a good sound to it. Wipers, they are working. Missing the knob there on top. Turn signals, are they popping up on the dash? They're not blinking on the left side. Right side, not blinking on the right side. Doesn't mean they're not working on the outside, and we'll be checking that throughout the video. Your tag. Coming up on the dash. Engine temperature, I have not let it run quite long enough to come up, but it may not work either. We'll be checking it through the video. Full pressure, it is moving and it's on the high side. Uh, fan, not working. Okay guys, what about the horn? Did you place your bets? Something about a grand steering wheel. Nobody ever hooks the horn up. All right, let's hit the road. Okay, getting ready to roll out here. I had to go back in and get me some water, man. Dehydrated out here in 100 degrees. This thing starts up good. Little visors, little smushy looking over there. We'll be checking that out. We're gonna be going over a lot of details, and cosmetics at the end of the video here. There we go. The uh, indicator here is not lining up perfect. It says we're in neutral right now. Okay, definitely tell their manual brakes. And set off my alarm. <laughs> I swear that Camaro's got the most sensitive alarm on it. Let's roll. Doing is getting 
taking some undercarriage shots. We're going to be driving by the camera. I'm going to do some outside footage. And at the end of this video, you'll see picking out the flaws where I walk around, chips, scratches, rust, dings, whatever. You'll know about it. Let's pull in the parking lot here. Let's get started. Got y'all set up, just did the walk around, picked out all the flaws. Let's head on back to the lot, guys. So drive is L2. <laughs> That's It's off by one. Actually, now it's not. It just needed to be adjusted. I reach right back there, now it's in drive. Good deal. here on that back road there was a lot of bumps throughout so and you got one about halfway down through here on this road it's right here oh yeah she a little bumpy
Give it a little feel. <laughs> Let out. It was kind of. <laughs> Guys, we made it back to the lot. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, stick around. Picking out the flaws. Coming up next. Okay. Picking out the flaws. Let's walk around this ride. Anything I can find? You don't know about it. Detail pictures at maplemotors.com. Coming up on the front. Got a scuff over here. That corner. A little chip here. Also up top. A little scuff down at the bottom. So a little spot here. The grill on this one. A little foggy. Still looks good. Got some marks there. Little scuffs up top here. Down this lower portion up and over. Light scratches. Little bubble here in the paint. You got some spots down here on the step. You can see where the paint. Got some little bubbles and stuff in it. Scratch here. Scuff. Back up over your fender. Little bubble in the paint there. Also there. Your midsection. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Chip here. Little bubbles there below your mirror. Got a little bit of rust popping up there on top. That mirror is super loose. Sounds like something's broke. Yeah, it's cracked. Little bubbles. Front windshield's got a big old scratch on it from the windshield wiper. It goes all the way across. The seal doesn't look bad. The tent actually does look bad. It's bubbled up. Strip that off. Up at your pillar. Little spot there. It's a little thick here on your roof. bubbles popping up back window on this one looks good seal right there's got some cracks in it up here around your vent window it's got a few little cracks as well it's flat on that frame chrome is gone went on down the back top of your railing here rust popping up there some surface rust on these bolts same with the inner part of this fender on the back here back bumpers in decent shape Got some big paint there on top of that bumper a little bit of rust trying to come through on them edges bubbles in the corners up top too gonna round in the bed here Spot there, ding. And 
down the lower portion here. Bend over. Some dirt there. This step looks pretty good on this side. Bottom of the cab looks good. Little bubbles popping up here at the bottom of the door. Go back your midsection. Spot in the paint there. Some dirt. Pitting on your door handle. Chips. Seals a little dry around the gas. Some dirt there. Some little bubbles on the paint there. On the roof looks good. Another crack on this mirror, but hey, it's not flopping around. Pretty tight in there. Front windshield's got scratches on this side too. dirt made it all the way around let's check out the interior then we'll get her started up and listen to that motor door panel on this one looks pretty good got some scuffs down here in the corner a little bit of rust down below the speaker. Down in your jam, it's pretty good. Seal's got a bunch of rips in it. Carpet been replaced. It looks good. The seat on this one, pretty nice. Missing a light cover in here. Headliner's nice and clean. Steering wheel looks good. Your dash, that's sticky. They've painted it. Doesn't look bad. Definitely need something on top of that to get rid of the sticky. Um, believe it or not, I've used WD-40 on, and it took it all away. Um, maybe something will do. You got paint on this one too. You can see it's older, but it did turn out. The bottom part of it didn't. No. And below the dash. Go ahead and start her up.
but it's pretty easy. Get some chips in the corner. Chip right there. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video. It helps me out quite a bit, and I do appreciate that. That'll keep me in this job doing all these reviews for you on all the cars that come through Maple Motors. Again, maplemotors.com, finance and ship it. Detailed pictures, and every Monday we update with new rides. Thank you. See you later.